All right, hello everybody and welcome to Cerebral Max and doing a video today on the 4116 EHS, 4108 EHS, 4104 EHS and things like that. We're current I'm currently using a 4116 EHS, so anybody that has this and they're trying to follow along, you're going to want to right click. You're going to want to go to main menu if you're a good person and actually need to log in, log in. I don't log out, so. All right. What you want to do now is you want to go to network, and you want to make sure that virtual host is enabled. You will know it's enabled because it's blue. If it's not blue, make it blue, press apply. All right. I want to show you here. My IP address is 10.0.0.225. This is my local area network. This is what 80% of my devices will connect to on my local area network. Um, if we look here, this is the switch. The switch I have set up to 10.2.10.1. And that means everything behind this will be 10.2.10. whatever, as long as it's connected to the actual PoE. I currently have one camera connected to port one, and that is at 10.2.10.128. So people that have not changed this, which would have something like 10.1.1, either 65, 66, 67, so on and so forth, and for some people would be 128, 129, so on and so forth. Generally, they start lower, like around 65. All right. Get that out of the way. What we want to do now is look at the web UI, because that's how you're going to access the web UI of the camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to first log into the web UI of the NVR. Now this is the 4.0 version. So if you have the older version, it'll look different than this, but you will still access the camera in a similar way. It just will not be by clicking management and camera like it will be on this one. So on this one, management, camera, and we see here 10.2.10.128. It is a 841E. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this little E. Now, as I said, all the others, so we've got one here at 10.0.0.103, 10.0.0.175, 176, Blah, blah, blah. All right. But this one does not have a trash can that turns red because you cannot delete it because it's on a port on the NVR. These are on a port somewhere else. All right. Click this. It's going to give you 10,080. Uh, 10, and then you're going to log into the camera. All right, now we're logged into the camera. And to show you, this is not just some static picture. This is a PoE camera that is pan and tilt. So you can see my big mess of monitors, and computers that I'm using as servers, and so on and so forth. Nothing to see here. All right. So, um, anything you need to do in the setup or anything like that, that's how you access it. You log into the NVR's web UI. You click on management in the 4.0 software. You click on camera. You go down here. You know, you hit the device search if you're trying to add more cameras. 
so on and so forth. But if you want to access, you click here on the E. It will bring up a new tab with the same IP address. Remember, NVR's IP address, NVR's IP address with a port number. Now, if I had more, which I could connect more to this you know, on a, you know, that are PoE cameras, because I have some that are not being used at this time. But anyway, if I had more, the next one would come up at 10,081, 10,082, so on and so forth. You get the point, hopefully. All right. So do whatever, you know, changes you need to do. Anything that you can't do in the NVR, you would do it this way. How do you access this camera? If you have never accessed this camera and this camera has never had an IP change, then it would be admin admin by default. If you made a change and you wanted to change all of the cameras, so like you can make a change to your password and the cameras could also be changed as well but for whatever reason at this time dynamically when you connect a poe camera to the poe port of the nvr it will start up as admin admin also keep in mind when you first log in with admin admin it's going to force you to make a change of that password when you change that password, you will no longer have access in your NVR. You need to keep that in mind. You need to make sure that when you get done changing that password, okay, that you go back into your NVR, you click on camera, you click on the little pencil, and then it will give you your login credential area. And then you want to make that change because this little green light will now be reddish orange. Once you click this pencil, you make the change to the password. This light will go green when you have it correct. Okay. Until next time, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment area. If you came in from a forum, you can hit me up in the forum or you can comment in the comment section below. Either way, thanks for watching. New Year's is coming up soon, so be safe in the New Year's and Happy New Year. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Freebooter Max. Be safe.